In this video, we'll show you how to add MySQL support to your PHP app with EXE output for PHP. Why adding a MySQL server? Since a lot of PHP projects use MySQL as database software, EXE output for PHP provides you with the ability to include a portable MySQL server, which is MariaDB, along your compiled PHP application. The MySQL server is considered as portable, because it doesn't require to be installed as a Windows service in order to work. Let's discover how to set up the server with EXE output. To set up the MySQL server, you must have defined where EXE output will create the app's EXE file. As you can see, the EXE lies here. EXE output will then place MySQL server files in that folder, in a subfolder named MySQL. Let's begin the setup of the MySQL server. If not already done, let EXE output install the required MySQL package. The web update will check for packages. At least, tick MySQL and admin or packages. The web update utility downloads and installs all selected packages. Once finished, close the utility and click the initial button again. You are prompted for the MySQL's root password and connection port, default is 3306. Enter a password that will be used in your PHP app. For the port, choose a random value, avoid 3306 generally already taken. Then, all files required by the MySQL portable server are copied to the subfolder and the server is started. EXE output for PHP will ask you to click OK when the server is ready and listening. Finally, EXE output for PHP shutdowns the server. The latter is now ready for use with your application. If you wanted to remember which root password and connection port you used, just click these links. How to create databases and manage them with Adminer. To help you administer your new MySQL server and import data, EXE output for PHP can start the Adminer tool. First, copy the MySQL server's address to the clipboard. Adminer is started. We can connect to our MySQL server by entering the appropriate credentials. First, paste the address into server. Enter the username and password as defined before. And choose login. All databases are listed. Let's add a new database named boss. We can then execute SQL queries to import data for instance. Now, we run an external SQL file. Alright, our database is ready. We can close Adminer. Let your app automatically start and stop the MySQL server itself. To associate your PHP app with the portable MySQL server. First, go to PHP extensions and be sure to enable the MySQL extensions, so that your PHP app can handle MySQL. To turn them on, you can right-click on an extension and choose Compile into the EXE in the context menu. We can now configure the database settings in our PHP app. Let's locate the configuration file. We enter the local host and port address, then, the expected credentials defined earlier. We can compile our PHP app and try it. Our PHP app is started and we can log in. How to deploy the PHP application along the MySQL server? Back to the output folder with the app.cxe file, 
We can now see the MySQL subfolder, delete the admin or exe file, it is no longer necessary. Select all files in the output folder and we'll compress them into a simple zip archive. To distribute your PHP app, just provide your end users with that zip archive. That's all. The entire PHP app is portable, how a PHP app with MySQL server runs on another computer. We are now on another computer with Windows 7. We transferred the zip archive made earlier to this computer. We now unzip our PHP app and we will start it by double clicking on its exe file. Our PHP app is started, and the MySQL server is active in the background. No complex installation step was required.